Hello you beautiful misfits, Matt here and today I'm going to be sharing with you my first impressions of The Consuming Shadow by Yahtzee Croshaw. Now I'm a sucker for Lovecraft style horror and I'm also a fan of Yahtzee's previous Chazo Mythos adventure games, Five Days of Stranger, Chorby's Notes, Six Days of Sacrifice and so on and so forth. And Consuming Shadow is that kind of horror but in a roguelike context, taking inspiration from games like FTL, an old Flash game called The Animator, Eternal Darkness, the board game Arkham Horror, and a smidgen or two of Lone Survivor. But enough whiffling, time for my first foray into The Consuming Shadow. June 16th, 2014, a shadow is trying to enter our world. One of the ancients. The runes confirm it. I don't know which one. All I know is that they arrive at Stonehenge three days from now. One hope remains, the Ritual of Banishment, four runes encountered at Stonehenge will close the gateway. The trouble is I don't know what the ritual is, if I investigate the strange events heralding the shadow, maybe I could piece it together. That's all I have, a maybe. Well that's a bit grim. Might as well just kill myself. I'm gonna end it all. Nope. Nope. Click, click, click. No, we can't just end it. Oh, I gained some sanity for that. Yes, this game does have a sanity mechanic, a la Eternal Darkness and Amnesia. Which is interesting as Yahtzee's gone on record saying he doesn't like sanity meters. But anyhow, let's begin our journey across England to stop the consuming shadow. So here we are, I've received a text from the Ministry of Occultism. You can find the information you need in towns tainted by the shadow. If you want my advice, start from Almsforth and work it out from there. Sound advice, but we'll check our supplies first. Equipment. Medical supplies. Options menu and notes which are very important. Three distinct ancient ones are currently active. One of them is trying to break into our realm, the one I must banish. A second is assisting them. A third ancient one, for ineffable reasons of their own, is working against them. Attempting to banish the wrong god would be disastrous. I must gather clues and identify my enemy. Yes, when it comes to banishing ancient star gods from beyond space and time, it's very important to get the right one. Although preferably, you shouldn't be messing with any of them. But we kind of have to in this case, so let's set a destination. And we are currently in the middle of nowhere, and there's bad stuff in Olmsforth. So let's head there via Dinham. All these names are entirely made up, of course. There is no Dinham in the real England. But that's part of the fine Lovecraftian tradition of making up town names like Lovecraft did with Arkham. And oh, I've got a text. Reports of a sleeper cell in Dinham. Oh, blimey. Well, it's fortunate I'm on my way there. Need to clean up sooner rather than later. Don't worry, I'm on my way there now. I've reached Dinham. So let's enter the town. I'm brought to the problematic area and told the payment will be made once the problem is dealt with. I don't think the locals fully understand what kind of presence is in their town, but they showed much relief and gratitude as I made my way inside. Here we are, press escape, start to view controls, which I probably should because this is the first time I've played it. Right, A to move left, D to move right, shift to hold, hold shift to run, up to interact with stuff, space to find my gun, Control from melee attack. Oh dear, this is going to get complicated. Tab, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So let's find a dimensional rift and seal it with an incantation. Okay. Running. Swing my pistol. Pistol whip any extra dimensional fools who try to get all up in my grill. So far, so very empty. Oh, use some paste there. We need to get the decorators in love. So far, very linear dungeon. Yeah, this is a dungeon. All the dungeons in this game are procedurally generated. Okay, now I have a choice. Left, right, or up. Now, ooh. Aha, found something. In language ancients, the symbol Kuz is usually given as a name, but has also variously been written to denote the concepts of illness, infection, and deformity. Okay, I found a clue. The room Kuz is associated with the concept of disease. So if we go to this table here. Yes, I have cheated a wee bit. So you have the rune. Cuz. Well, I say cheated, so I've been following its progress for, for a little while now, and I've watched Yahtzee's own video on this, so I kind of know a bit. I haven't gone in completely blind. Sorry if that's ruined the whole suspense and magic for you. But so far, you know that cuz stands for disease. So there we go. Now, graphically, First thing I was reminded of was an old game on the oh, hang on, after I've killed this bugger, go away. Ah, okay, I think he's dead, or it's dead, whatever it was. As I was saying, I was reminded mostly of an old game on the Amiga 
that some of you may remember if you're old enough, called Blade Warrior, which had a very sort of similar silhouette style. Although in that game everything was in silhouette, but another obvious inspiration is an old Flash game called The Animator, which is itself based on H.P. Lovecraft's Reanimator. Although the game really has nothing to do with the story. Oh, I found an ancient nine mm pistol with three usable bullets in the clip. That's handy because I spent some killing that thing from beyond. Ah, ah, go away, go. Oh, that was an anticlimax. Okay, combat so far is really just. If you see a gribbly, press control to whack it, or press space to fire your gun. Oh, I found a set of keys. And I found a locked door earlier, so that'd be handy. It's more a case of resource management than twitch reflexes or anything like that. Okay, I've already been in here. Let's go down and unlock this door here. And go in. Oh. Ah, be gone! Foul buzzing denizen of the nether realm. The language of the ancients, the syllable eu, eu, is eu, is usually given as a name, but has also been written to denote the concept of suffering, pain, and injury. Right, we're doing quite well for clues so far. We know that once I've sorted my notebook out, give me just a second. Right, okay, we know that eu is to do with pain. So here we go. Doing quite well in finding the old clues so far. See what's through here. As I was saying, combat is more case of resource management than any top-notch aiming skills. So it's important to conserve your ammo. And I expect... Oop. Oh shit, that was bad. I meant to press up. But instead, I fired my gun like a tit. But I have found something. I take it this would be the dimensional rift. Oh. Okay, two runes. Um... Spells? Oh, okay. Uh, it's the circle thing and the Kuz rune. Yay! I closed the dimensional rift. Be gone! Wow, I'm kicking ass on my first go. The more I chanted Kuz T, the more my mind expanded. Ah, oh, were it that simple. I saw to the edge of the world and into the hearts of everyone around me. I saw what was to come. And that's why, Sarah, that's why you found me like this. With my trousers around my ankles. Tell the kids I'm sorry. Well, who'd have thought magic was that easy? And I've learned a spell. Clairvoyance. That is very handy. I'm going to try casting that and see what happens. Kiz you batee. It's a vision of things to come that left me with a keen awareness of the surrounding area. Oh, that's handy. I presume that would have just shown the whole map. But since I've explored the map, that was completely useless. Be gone. Be gone. That's what I was saying, completely useless, and it's cost me some sanity. So, I can look forward to going mad, like many good Lovecraftian protagonists in the very near future. Probably sooner rather than later. Okay, let's head back to the cut. Let's run. Let's run back to... Ah! That was stupid. Let's run right into the path of an extra-dimensional insect. Okay. Oh, die, you bugger. Well, I went down easy enough, but it's nibbled away at my health. Return to car? Yes. Back to my bloody car. People waiting for me outside seem determined not to ask questions. Upon my assurance that the problem is resolved, they pay without quibble. I got £19. Wow. Kind of feeling a bit short-changed here, to be honest. I mean, £19 really doesn't buy you much. But I can visit a hospital. Uh, I don't need to refill my medkit because it's already full. So we'll go back to the car. And I will refill my health with my fully stocked med kit, go back into town. I feel quite buoyed by the clean air here and the people are friendly enough. It can only be a matter of time before they catch the shadow's attention. Right, let's visit the hospital. A walk-in clinic for homeless people. Well, you gotta take what you can get really. Yeah, a proper hospital would be unthinkable. Ah, uh, see obviously because I'm a man on the edge hunting things man was not meant to know, I can't use the NHS. They'll ask too many questions, and they won't give me illegal drugs, nor will they sell me bullets. I have to get those from a man on the street. Oh, and he's offering me tranquilizers as well. I'll have those, thank you very much. There, I'm now completely doped up and numb to the horrors of the world. So what better time to buy some hollow point bullets and return to the car? Now, whither to now? Well, I've got some hollow points, I'm fully healed up. I'm a bit crazy, but 
otherwise good, so I'm going to go to Armsforth. And on we drive. I mean, graphically, it's not going to win any E3 awards, let's be frank, but so far it's doing a really good job of building up an atmosphere of sort of dread, which is very important for horror games. You've received a text from a family member. I know what you're doing is important. I don't know how I know, but I feel it. Do what you have to do and make sure you come back to us. Hey, I gained some sanity. Nice reassuring message from my unspecified family member there. And we're at Armsforth. So we better check everything. Let's see, I've got my spells. I've got my Kazi Batiste. Now, obviously, you, there's nothing in the banishment ritual, which is what I have to learn, and that's worrying, because it's all very well knowing what kind of god you're meant to be banishing, but if you can't banish them, well, you're shit out of luck, aren't you? So maybe we'll find part of the spell here. It's when like a foul stench a moment I'll leave the car. Everywhere I look, I see eye draw, eyes dropped and jaws slack in silent wails of anguish torment. I saw a terrace of houses, all with doors smashed in and curtains closed, soaked with spattered blood. I usually see that every time I step out of my front door. Not the typical work of the shadow, this is all coming from a source. A loose, poorly handled magical artifact left to leak its foul energies into everything around it. So let's investigate. Follow the corrosive energy trails to their source. Oh great, a forest. Because nothing bad ever happens in a forest. Well, let's investigate further. Find and recover an occult text. Okay, I must be careful not to... How do I switch my ammo types? Oh, it's Q&A. &E. Simple enough. So, we will go to standard rounds. We'll save the hollow points for the big nasties. You know, i got enough sanity. Let's go Kuzubati. Grant us eyes that we might see. And it shows the whole map. I am awesome. I've still got to be careful, though. Still can't just charge through the whole place willy-nilly. That's how you get stung to death by cosmic space wasps. Ah! Be gone! Oh, something in the bin. I found two unf- Ah! Oh. Three hollow point bullets! Not something you usually find in a bin in England, but... I had some armor pissing bullets. Awesome. I think I'm doing pretty well, all things considered. Which there's nothing here. Good. I am alone. And a set of keys. I'll explore that door near the exit last. In case I need to make a run for it. God. Ah! 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 Big on! Ow! Big on! Well, I'll switch to the hollow points there. Ow, that was nasty. Small oh, wait! Hey. Small portable first aid kit. That solves my immediate health problem. Nothing else in here. So let's mosey on into the woods. The very ornate woods with lots of statues and fountains. Well. Oh. Oh, I'd batter this thing to death. Okay, anything? A bin. Oh, and some 9mm rounds. Okay, this will be where... The gribbly thing is. Most of the engraving was too withered to read the full banishment mansion, but the second symbol was almost certainly the syllable EW. I should head for the exit. Good idea. Let's leg it back. Run? What? Oh dear. Something's happening. What's happening? Why is the music. Oh! oh yeah! It's a ghost! I'm being chased by a ghost. Okay. Don't, pan don't panic, don't panic. Might still be able to explore that. Ah! Go, get out of my face! Okay, I want to explore this room. Oh, bollocks. Anyway, Yushiku is often identified with the symbol resembling a stick man with their head and one arm missing. So, Yushiku is identified with the Kuzurun. Excuse me, denizens of the netherworld, while I just fill in my notepad here. Yushk! It's the god of disease, symbol Kz. Okay, time to mosey. Let's get that all. Ah! What the hell? I've gone invisible. Well, that was obviously a sanity effect. I have a small portable first aid kit. That was very fortunate. Okay, that threw me a bit. Just suddenly turning invisible. 
I assume that's a sanity effect and not something going wrong with the game or anything. Oh, the town's lost to the shadow and nothing I could have done can change that. But perhaps with what I have recovered here, this will finally be the last. Yeah, I'm not really holding out much hope on that one, unfortunately. Best I can do right now is lick my wounds. Top up my health. And you know what? I think it's time to turn to drugs. It's all getting a bit too much for me. Remember kids, if you have problems with monsters from the mouth of madness, turn to drugs. Just kidding, don't do drugs. Unless they're really, really good ones. But enough moralising, time to pick my next destination. And I think I shall go to Hersgate. So as I was saying, the graphic style, that was happening now. I have happened upon a small country church where a number of locals have taken shelter. From the indistinct words of drifting out from the entrance doors, it sounds like some kind of sermon's taking place. Hmm. I think I shall stay a while and listen. I lasted half an hour before I could stand any more. Red-faced vicar, modern world's temptations, blah -de blah Oh, I'm literally being driven mad by boredom and disgust. And thus I spiral ever downwards into madness. And all that's keeping me going is the horse tranquilizers in my veins. Joy of joys. Ah, text. Any events have been reported in Alton. Can't say any more. Would want to spoil the surprise. Thank you. Tea at the ministry. Right, enter town. Can I get some counselling, maybe? Some sort of, like, psychotherapy? Let's visit the hospital. Oh, I can't even... I can barely afford anything. I can buy another bullet, which I might use to just blow my brains out. Let's see. Now, I haven't been to Blesley, or Saxbury, or Stones Rose, so... Let's head towards Saxbury on our way to Alton. And so far, it's, it's all very sort of simple controls. It is very much a game of resource management and receiving text messages every five seconds. Fighting on the streets of Forworth. It's on the way, I will. Oh. I've been pulled over by the fuzz. I shall pull over. Pulls in behind me, saunters up, see him in the rearview mirror. Stared instantly into middle distances. What? Ah! Oh, fuck the police. All my special bullets have gone. And I couldn't even bribe him. Ah, oh, what have I got? It's... All my hollow point bullets? No. Ah. Oh. Let's enter Saxbury. Maybe we can find some more. Reports have reached me of mysterious pests rising up from the ground at numerous places. See, a lot of this very much... You may be getting an FTL vibe from it, and I certainly am. All these are sort of procedurally generated from chunks of text, as are all the little dungeons and so forth, and random encounters. Unlike FTL, however, where you, you can only ever go forward, you can sort of go back. You're not being pursued by some big nebulous enemy of sorts because the enemy is all around you which is itself again very very Lovecraftian the idea of this secret dark world lying just below the surface that everyone is completely ignorant to until it starts to poke through but I'm rambling on with the investigation let's see several witnesses pointed me to a grammar school place is secure enough science project well let's investigate Find and destroy a nest. And hope I don't go completely and utterly loco. Because that would be bad. So far, so quiet. I'm not going to cast a clairvoyant spell. In hindsight, probably shouldn't have cast that spell. I found a note. Page from a diary. Maybe I'll have some time to read it once this is all over. Diary page one. Can I read it now? Or... I guess not. Anything here? Nothing so far. I will go down. Anything over here. Ah! Be gone! Be gone, fly! Giant squamous apostate abomination from beyond space and time. Okay. And I've lost sanity. Great. And the door's locked. Let's see if we can find a key. Well, so far, only one enemy. Which is not as unsettling as these weird effects that keep happening. Ah! Uh, a corpse. 
Another victim of the shadow, their body seems to have been ripped open in several places and the wounds repeatedly violated in unspeakable ways. Oh. Two bullets and a pistol whip to the face. That's got you couldn't properly sorted. Okay, I can't go left because the door's locked, so we'll go down. Christ, this is a big house. Oh, what's this? The Bati rune has been inscribed on the wall here in purple. It could be either a marking of territory or a gesture of thanks or recognition to another god. Let's cast the Bati rune, see if it does something. Yay, I've restored some sanity. If you ever feeling a bit mad, kids, just cast random runes you find painted on the wall. Oh! Oh shit, I'm out! Ah! I'm out! I'm out of bullets! And there's some sort of lump, lumpy thing. I think it's all dead. I hope. Most of the grain was too bad. Hang on, let's start again. Most of the engraving was too weathered to read the full banishing mantra, but the third symbol was almost certainly the syllable Bati. Unless there's any more loot to be found, I can safely call this operation complete. Time to go. Except I'm going to explore a wee bit more. Although I have no ammo and I'm starting to go completely mad. Worship was considered a grave insult to draw Nyx's symbol in orange as this is the colour associated with one of their oldest and most bitterest rivals among the ancients. Minus the most there. Okay, Nyx hates the god associated with the colour orange. I don't... Right, there's a god called Nyx. Well, that was a handy little clue. There's the body I found earlier. Ah! Oh, bugger! Bugger off! You spitting bastard. Ah, oh, thank god, some bullets. Maybe I can find some more. Or a key... Uh. Die! Die! Good, it's dead. Help! I have been imprisoned by the cult of Nyx. They locked me in a filthy oubliette. I can hear them ch cursing some enemy god chanting Kuz. I think they're killing people up there. Nyx is an enemy of the god identified by the Kuz rune. Right, so Nyx is the enemy of Yushk. I don't know why I'm doing that. Gender. I'm just assuming he's probably not the invading god. If he's the enemy of. Ah, wait. But then he's a possible invader. As is Yushk. Hmm. Another Lovecraftian staple there, by the way. Gods with barely pronounceable names. Okay, let's just mosey on out of here before I die. Hopefully not run into a fly! Go away! Stay down. Not wasting any of my precious bullets. No enemy in here? Good. I can leg it. I think I'm doing okay. Kind of running a bit low on the old sanity. But the creatures still infest every crack and shadow of the town, but I've ensured they will no longer breed. Yeah. I'm starting to regret maybe playing this with the keyboard. Although it does have controller support, so if you prefer to use an Xbox 360 controller or some sort of joy to key configuration, you can do that. Now, what's in Forworth? Monster sighted. Great. Ah, uh, let's head there anyhow. Yep, yep. Drive. And see if we can't stop the gribbly things from fulfilling their dark master's evil urges. Oh, another text. Oh, thank you for wiring me a whole nine pounds. I'm thinking the currency might have made a bit more sense if Yahtzee had added an extra zero to the end. So I'd have a hundred pounds instead of ten. At the moment, driving around England with just ten pounds is kind of breaking the suspension of disbelief a bit. For me, at least, personally. Okay, let's enter the town. Everything seems to be okay. There's no ominous fog or weirdly alien coloured skies. Oh. Where to lend my effort to the resistance? Oh! Okay. Be gone! Be gone! Be gone! Okay, use more bullets than I wanted to there. And I got a lockpick. What did he do? 
advice on future give advice on future defense the local authorities are grateful i've got 20 quid for that i'm thinking they got the better deal out of that situation still money's money let's top up the old med kit so we can be as healthy as can be and find some supplies i need some bullets oh it only costs one awesome I can also buy a set of skateboarder pads that prevent broken limbs. Which I suppose could be useful, I'm presuming broken limbs is a status effect of some kind. But I've got better things to spend my money on. See, these are meant to prevent anxiety, but I'm personally still feeling quite anxious. Oh, let's set a destination, let's go to Alton. Which we know is a layer of evil. Of course it is, it's in Wales. No offence intended to my Welsh viewers there. You have received a text from a family member. Please listen to me. None of it is real. There are no monsters. You had a breakdown. The doctors can help. We miss you. Oh. Well, that's sending me on a one-way ticket to Cuckoo Land. A harassed-looking young man in rumpled clothing runs to my window and pleads for a ride. Hmm. Nah, screw you. He could have been a servant of the old gods trying to knife me in my car. Okay, let's enter Alton. This town is unnaturally peaceful, not a scrap of evidence of actual life. The shops are open, but each one is unattended. I've searched a few homes and found television still on, and food still laid out on dining tables. And so vita. Somehow I doubt that everyone is waiting to jump out from behind the hedgerows and throw me a surprise party. Let's investigate. So after clothing, spots of blood, claw marks near us, some thing had been dragged. All of them lead straight to the front door of the administrative building of the local hospital. Okay. Well, if it's a hospital, I might find some more supplies or drugs. Locate three missing townsfolk or what remains of them. I am borderline insane by this point. Right. That door is locked and requires a lock pick. I could try and pick it. Okay, that failed. Let's try again. Nope. One more time for luck. Yay! Ah! And there's a hostage. All the shadow could take them. I free them of their bonds and direct them to the exit. And that... Ow! That doesn't give me any sanity at all. You'd think helping people would kind of... Oh, what's this? The Petit rune has been inscribed on the wall here in orange. It could either be a marking of territory or a gesture of thanks or recognition to another god. Well, let's cast it and see what happens. Batee! No. Oh, it's responded. I don't know how. Might have done something bad. Oh! Oh god! Some sort of glowy thing! Ow! Oh god, it's some sort of wizard. Run. Hide. And then when I go back in there... Oh god, he's gone. I've distracted him with my cunning ruse. The only remedy in the local witch doctor's repertoire was chanting the words Beti Agun. But the treatment seemed far too effective to entirely dismiss as a placebo effect. Oh, I learned a spell. Healing touch. Beti Agun. Although I'm pretty good for health at the moment, so... Ah! Be gone! That's right, I nearly fired a third time there. Ah, set of keys. Good. And... A diary page. No time to read it now. I assume this is some sort of collectible. I really am enjoying the sense of dread this game has. Sure, the graphics are very simple, but it's got a very strong mood. And that's the important difference between horror games that are just all jump scares and something genuinely unnerving. Not terrifying, just unnerving. And now any idiot can do a jump scare, but it takes some talent to maintain that feeling of unease. By some miracles, the victim of the shadow is still alive. They save their thanks and sprint for the exit. The moment they're freed. Don't give me any gifts or anything. Nope, I'll just... Mosey on. Oh, another rune. That's the Bati rune. Let's cast that and see what happens. Bati! Recognition I found strangely reassuring. Yay, I've gained some sanity! Aha! And I've only got one bullet left. Hey, and the last hostage. 
Seems lost in thought only notices my presence after I free her. She nods shallowly, shallowly then makes her escape. Okay, is there anything to find in... Oh, yes. Oh, God. Oh, God, i got to run. Luckily, I'm not far from the exit, so... What's chasing me? Hello? Nothing. Oh, just a figment of my imagination. What do I get as a reward for that? I was waiting for me at the door, wanted to know about my mission. She listened with a disconcerting intensity before wordlessly reaching into a thick notebook, not unlike my own, and passing me a page of occult text. I thanked her, at which point she suddenly went for a hug, during which she whispered into my ear, come to Hobble Church and bring a pentagram necklace. Okay. Sure, if I can get one. In the case of a four rune incantation, the first rune denotes the recipient of the spell in the banishment ritual, for example. Aha! So I've learned something about the banishing ritual. Let's see how much of it I have. Um, wait, it's in my spell book. God's rune, Eubati, ba ba ba. So I need the last part of the banishment ritual and the name of the god to banish. Can I heal myself? Yes. And that's all my supplies gone. He's a bit fiddly doing this with the mess. Okay, I need to bring a pentagram necklace to Hobble Church. So where the bloody hell am I going to find one? Now, I think there was one for sale in Forworth, but I didn't have the money for it. But we'll give it a go. So this is our new quest, to find a pentagram necklace. Got sightings of enemy min minions in Hersgate that need exterminating. Oh, extra cash. I might be able to use that cash to buy the pentagram necklace to give to the woman who gave me the notebook page. Forward, set destination. Now let's enter the town. Find supplies. No, this is the skateboarder pads, wasn't it? And I've lost an hour. Text from a family member. I went up to Hobble Church today just so I wouldn't be thinking of you. Everything was so normal and happy, I couldn't stand it. Well, that's nice, I guess. Let's go to Kidport and see if we can sort of cut over to Hersgate via soil. So let's drive. 39 hours left. The time limit is obviously the biggest source of tension in this game. If you start getting all laissez-faire about taking time to go shopping and whatnot, then before you know it, time will have run out and the world will be dead. Anyway, we've pulled up to what looks like a seemingly functional hospital. Injured person. I suppose there's no harm in looking. Okay, oh. No, I don't really want to kill myself. Unless I can then stop it and gain some sanity. Yay! Check me out, gaming the system. Okay, let's agree to go in. Suddenly adrenalized, I instructed SKP to find safety. I was gonna end this nightmare. Well, this is in America, this is England, so my accent would have been more like, I was going to end this nightmare. And find a missing person. With one bullet. And weird noises. Those weird little blotches don't help, because I keep thinking they're monsters. You sod! I'm gonna beat you! There we go. No bullets, though. Alright, let's go down. And, oh! And beat this fucker! Hopefully I'll have some... Oh, he's got some armor-piercing bullets. Well, better than nothing, I suppose. Let's switch to those. That door is locked. Let's give it a try. Nope, I failed miserably. So we keep going down. Oh, another rune. The EU rune has been inscribed on the wall here. Let's try and cast it. Casting spells, fun for all the family. Ah, oh, I've gained some sanity. Although it doesn't seem like it. And really, the drugs are the only thing holding me together right now. Much like real life. And another rune. The EU rune again. So let's cast that. Answering energy. There was a wave of recognition I found strangely assuring. Yay, I gained some sanity. And these doors are all locked. So, back I go. Now, obviously, monsters can respawn in places you've already been. Which is annoying. But on the plus side, supplies. Oh, a set of skateboarder pads. 
Good thing I didn't buy them when I had the chance to. Ah! Be gone! Be gone! Oh. Oh, it was a hallucination. Damn it. Okay, let's go up. Quick, before that weird glowy thing strikes me down with all of its anger. Don't be afraid of the dark, little one. Speak aloud these words and the shadows will be lifted from your eyes. Hey, you Agon! No, I don't really have the sanity for that. Another thing this game borrows from the Cthulhu mythos is the idea of spells costing sanity, which was also used in Eternal Dark. Ah, no, go away! Oh, that's cost me sanity just to run away from him. Hopefully, he won't be there. So I can loot this filing cabinet. Ah, set of keys. And I'm right by the locked room, so. Oh, hello. Oh. Why not, eh? Ah, I finally got some hollow point bullets back. Good, good. Help, I've been imprisoned by the cult of Biala. They locked me in a filthy oubliette. I can hear them cursing some enemy god chanting, "You!" I think they're killing people up there. So Biala is identified... No, he's an enemy of the god identified by the Eu rune. Ah! So that means Nyx is Eu and Biala is something else. So these two might be allied and this one might be the enemy. Ah, oh, process of elimination. Slowly but surely. Any monsters? Nope, I've got the key. Let's open the door. Hostage? Yay! Come on, buddy, get out of here. Direct into the exit. The longer I stay, the more time I lose. Right, so let's get out of here. Oh! Whoa! Ah! Ah, I'm being chased by a man in a raincoat! Help! Being chased by a pervert! Oh, truly cosmic horror! Ow! Ah, oh, shit! Fuck it! Just gonna leg it out of here. I have one point of sanity remaining! Oh, da! Ah. Damn it, it's reversed my controls! No! I'm going slightly mad. I'll just get out of this madhouse. Yes! <sighs> what, what bad news? I found the person. First from them in a pal life. Oh, they gave me 21 quid though. Right, now I've reached Kidport. Mad as a hatter. No medical supplies. Dying on my ass. No bullets and no drugs. Let's do this. Wait, hold on. Hmm. I was going to go and get that pentagram, wasn't I? Yeah, let's let's just let's just leave, shall we? Back to Saw Hill. Nice, safe Saw Hill, where nothing bad has happened. Texas Ministry of Occultism. Wish I could help in person, but I'm on a fine line as it is. But I've wired you six quid. Makes me feel useful. Well, thank you, T for your generous donation of six English pounds. Okay, enter town. Quite buoyed by the clean air here, as I should. Let's top up the old med kit. Find supplies. Oh, bugger. An exhaust muffler reduces random events while driving. Could be useful, but I was kind of hoping for a pentagram necklace. So while I'm here, I might as well buy some bullets instead. Bloody well need them. Oh, another text. Bloody hell. Guy in Forworth asking for someone to bring him a locksmith's kit. Oh, what, what happened to my notes? Oh, it doesn't actually tell me where to get a pentagram necklace from. It's the destination. Wait a minute, was it Dinham that had the pentagram necklace? Hmm. Don't really want to backtrack though. Yeah, to get Hersgate monsters sighted. I mean, we go via Blesley and Lorbra and maybe pick one up along the way. Let's give it a go. I've nothing to lose but my sanity. My last thin vestigial thread of sanity. 
I am really enjoying the music in this, by the way, which incidentally was done by Mark J. Hadley, who you may know as the creator of Slender, the game, not the Slenderman character. Well, I mean, he did do the soundtrack to his own game, so it's likely. Anyway, enough stalling. Hersgate, we're here. Mysterious pests rising up from the ground at numerous places. Too large to be rats, not to mention too aggressive and too organised. A situation like this is just the first sprouting seed of a total invasion by the Shadow. I don't know why I did that stupid accent there, but let's go and investigate. Hopefully without killing myself. Ah, it's another school science project gone wrong. These goddamn kids and their science projects. Still, that's some bloody science project though. A monster nest. Okay, standard 9mm rounds. Got my pistol whippy skill. So far. Oh! No! Oh, God! Good thing I didn't shoot it. It was a hallucination from my crazed mind. Yeah, that wasn't, however. That was very much unsettlingly all too real. Some kind of survivalist cash here containing three hollow points. Awesome. Let's switch back to standard bullets. Because if standard bullets can't stop something, well, there's not going to be much chance of... Wait, what am I doing? Hollow point. What I meant to say is that if hollow point bullets can't stop something, there's not much chance of anything else stopping it, really. Ah! Ah! Be gone! I have no idea what I was doing there, but... But I got my bullets back, so that's okay. Not a loss, but not a gain either. Oh! Bollocks, I've been tricked again. Okay. You know what, the monsters themselves aren't really that terrifying, apart from man in raincoat at the hospital earlier, but... Oh, medicinal alcohol. But a lot of the tension is coming from not having the resources to deal with them. Yeah, I mean, much of the tension in this game is resource management rather than... Let's make sure the room's clear. No, of course it isn't. Ah, I'm wasting bullets. Be gone, brain thing. Did you drop something? Yes. Ah, oh, small portable first aid kit. I'm doing a... Ooh. And a diary page. Right, switch to the hollow points. What seems to be ripped open in several places and the wounds repeatedly violated in unspeakable ways. I think I should go left. No, I should go right, because then I can maybe loop round. Ah, a rune. Ah, and that was a hallucination. Okay, let's have a look at this rune. It's the Bati rune again. When I find a rune, I cast it. Hey, whatever gets your sanity back. Let's explore further east. And another rune. Let's cast that one. It's Bati again. Of course, I gain sanity, but I think it costs me sanity to cast them. I'm not sure. Was I on three or four? Two or three, rather. Oh, God. Be gone! Time it just right and pistol whip it. Whatever it is. Oh, a rune. Let's cast another spell. Bati! It seemed to respond, but. Have I damned myself? Even more than I already am. Okay. 20 health left, 1 sanity, the drugs are starting to wear off, I've got 2 hollow point rounds. Let's do this. Bollocks. Ah! And I'm... Oh god, my controls are... Oh god, ah! Am I just... What the fuck happened to my controls? Oh! Oh, well that was a disaster. The purple god has no particular interest in our realm. He seems to consider us unworthy of any action. Oh, purple god is not the invading god. Of course, the question now is which god is the purple god? Because this is the first I've heard of any colour. Wait, hang on, what was the Kuz rune? I go to my 
spell book. Ah, because rune is that one. Let's loot this first. Oh, I've got two hollow point bullets. Six health. One sanity. I think I am about to go loco or die. What do you prefer to die? To be honest. Ah. Oh. And when the king recovered, he displayed his bed sheets, which had become stained orange with pus. From that day forth, orange would be ah. That is a clue. Orange is the god of disease. So that's Yushk. It's a possible invader. So he's definitely a possible invader. One of these ones, possible invader. Not really. Oh god. I have no idea how I survived that, but I've topped up on hollow points. So let's just get the hell out and here and live to fight another day. Fuck this. Oh no! Well, there we have it. My first foray into the Consuming Shadow. And I think I did okay. Died on my own terms. The vastness of the multiverse, your efforts leave their mark. I killed 34 minions. Found 8 clues. And I almost reached level 2. Or I have reached level 2. And there we have it, Consuming Shadow by Yahtzee Croshaw, available now for sale on HumbleBundle.com, the price of $9.99 or your regional equivalent, and also up on Steam Greenlight, awaiting the necessary votes for it to become available there. Overall, first impressions are, I like it a lot. It really captures that Lovecraft feel of being one person against a vast, indifferent cosmos that doesn't care whether you live or die. And it's interesting to see a horror game try roguelike mechanics rather than be just another slender knockoff. And while this game does wear its influences very clearly on its sleeve, it mixes things up enough to be engaging and enjoyable in its own right as its own game. Fans of FTL, I feel, in particular will get a good kick out of this one. Anyhow, thank you very much for watching this, the first in what I'd like to be a sort of regular series, time permitting. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.